communist propaganda, am I correct? I mean, would that be a fair statement to say that that would be communist propaganda? Now, here is what the picture Song of Russia contains. It starts with an American conductor played by Robert Taylor. That's right. That, uh, that's a great uh, change from the Russians I have always known. I've known a lot of them. Uh, don't they do things at all like Americans? Don't they walk across town to visit their mother-in-law or somebody? Look, it's very hard to explain. It's almost impossible to convey to a free people what it's like to live in a totalitarian dictatorship. I can tell you a lot of details. I can never completely convince you because you are free. And it's in a way good that you don't it can't even conceive of what it's like. Certainly, they have friends and mother-in-laws. <laughs> They try to live a human life, but do you understand that it is totally inhuman? Now try to imagine what it's like if you are in constant terror from morning to night and at night you're waiting for a doorbell to ring. If you are afraid of everything and everybody. If you live in a country where human life is nothing, less than nothing, and you know it. You don't know who, when is going to do what to you because he may have friends somewhere. But there is no law and no rights of any kind. You came here in 1926, I believe you said. Did you escape from Russia or did no. you have a passport? A no, visa? strange enough.